Guten Morgen, mein Lieblings. <laughs> I bet that was terrible German. <laughs> God loves to try it. Oh, what a difference today is to yesterday. Yesterday was like Hades. Who is that inferno? Whose inferno was it? Doughty's? No. Just nearly tripped. Um, Dante's Inferno. I she must look that up. I haven't got a clue what that's about. Did I study that? No, I studied Paradise Lost. Actually, I'd, do you know, I'd quite like to go back and revisit all of the things. Hang on, I'm not sure if that was recording. Yes, it was recording. I'd like to go back and revisit all of the things that I studied because I hated them at the time. But now I'm older, I think I'd find much more value and wisdom in them. And because there's no pressure, I think I'd just enjoy them. Because I like words and I feel like I've lost a lot of my vocabulary and a lot of my, a lot of the skills I used to have. And there's, there's a few things in this world that I, I don't like. And that is waste and loss. <laughs> I suspect I'm in a very big camp there. Plans for today. Oh, I sound like Danny from My Yarny Corner. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the lovely comments. Thank you for visiting the shop. Enjoy the views if there are any. Take it easy. <laughs> Hello, Danny and Alexis. Oh, I don't know why I called you by your full name there. Daniel and Alexis. Danny and Alex. I'm still doing my squats. I had to do 200 yesterday because I didn't manage to pull any out of the bag the day before. I split them up into 50s. I can't do maths. The other day I said I'd done, I don't know, 100, 20, 20 and 50. <laughs> and said that was 200, of course it's not. Um, <laughs> it's amazing that I can knit really, isn't it? Because you've got, got to be able to do a bit of mathematics. By the way, this is the Swoon cardigan from Juju's Loops, which is a Loops London book. It's absolutely a lovely cardigan, but do take a look at the errata and do take a look at what other people have said because there are many, many, many a mistake. Bless you, Benny. As a result, I had to do this little thing all the way around the bottom. It's actually, if I were to knit this again, I would incorporate that because I like it, I do. Today, plans for today. I'm going off to see my family down in Devon, my dad's brother, his three children, and I'm really looking forward to it. My poor uncle had a horrible accident. He slipped on the dog's water on the tiled floor in the kitchen and landed on his leg and basically shattered his leg and shattered his foot. So he's all pinned back together, which is brilliant because he can't get away from me. I'll be able to bug him. I do his head in. He says, he goes, Gaila, you do my head in. He loves me though. I know I love him. Yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm I am really, really looking forward to it. I've got a friend coming over to sit with the boys um, a bit later. That's Julie. I'm always talking about Julie. Hopefully she'll be able to find somewhere to put her feet up, have a coffee, peace and quiet. I'm just going to sign off for a second because the dog is doing a plan of operations. Before I set off at 11 I need to pop down to the shop, pick up some stuff that um, the kids can have for their tea and make some lunches and leave them out for them and just to make life easier for everybody. I need to wrap up Paige's present. Oh, I've got a lovely present 
from the garden centre. It's a lamp. It's a copper lamp. It's a punched hold copper lamp. I could put in the video here I sent to my her brother, my cousin. Um, but it's it's around the wrong way. But you'll be able to see that it's copper, it's punched, and it's um, dimmable. And there's this little pot that you put in a cage above the, the bulb, and you put wax melts in it. So I'm really optimistic that she'll love it, and I've bought her 10 different wax melts as well. Because you see, this is the thing, because we, we all knew each other as children, and then life got in the way and you rely on parents to keep you together and we lived far apart. <clears throat> and then um, when I was then driving and working and single, I was down there all the time hanging out with them. But of course Paige, she's only 30, I didn't hang out with her so much because she was just a kid. Um, so now as adults, just forming this relationship is really lovely but it does mean that it's a bit of a stab in the dark when it comes to buying meaningful and thoughtful gifts but Keel thinks I've named, nailed it so I'm really pleased about that she'll be polite anyway she won't tell me if she hates it and she can just pass it on can't she I'm all about regifting. that is not that doesn't bother me at all I flossed my teeth and um, last night now I'm blowing bubbles through the gap through the gap in the top. Did you like that? I looked like a horse, didn't I? Arms aching, so I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm ready to go. So I've got some games in there. Put them all in. It's all right, Bill, I'm videoing. And I've got presents for Paige. I've got stuff that I want, including knitting, hearing aids, car key, fruit, yummers. Right, let's go to Devon. <laughs> We're puffed out. We did speed squats. How many did we do? 100. You're trying to kill me. <laughs> you won't die, but you'll feel it tomorrow. <laughs> that was the funniest laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So right, let's start Your again now. Your name is Pads, I've decided. <laughs> it's the snow, it's in the snow. Yes, Pads yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, baby. So, I've tried to do snowballs. Oh, I look all tired, don't I? I've got all pink eyes. I've just driven back from Devon and it was a... Oh, there was so much water on the road. I had to go really slowly because I could feel the car drifting. It's piddling. I've had such a lovely day though. I've had a really lovely day. We chatted, we had cups of tea, we had a Prosecco, we had cake, we had pizza, we played Pictionary. Just, it was so funny. It was so funny. It's really illuminating on how people's minds work, the way people draw things, the way people guess things. I really loved it. I really loved it. The highlight for me was my uncle trying to draw a scarecrow, but we all thought he was doing Christ on the cross. <laughs> so he was giggling. Because <laughs> when you know you're drawing a scarecrow and you've got people guessing all this, holy stuff <laughs> it's just is absurd so that was funny Margot is so excited to see me she doesn't know what to do with herself you don't know what to do with yourself you get up on my lap and then you and then she jumps down and then she's back up on my lap and then she jumps down I got a new necklace look my cousin's wife Hayley 
she makes these resin all sorts of things out of resin and um this one it's not the normal thing that i would wear I, I don't really wear big chunky jewels but this one is precious i don't know how some of you feel about this i mean obviously i how could i possibly know what everybody feels about this and some people might feel a little bit kind of creeped out about it but in here is my nan's ashes some of her ashes she died a year ago next week on the 24th so um me and my cousin Paige we've both got got a bit of nanny that we can wear which is lovely Are you doing? Hang on. Oh, you stop now, haven't you? I don't know. People aren't creeped out about having my granny's ashes around my neck. They might be a bit freaked out by you leaping all over the pillows. I'm afraid this is becoming a little bit of a bad habit, but I forgot to finish the vlog again. So here I am saying thank you for watching. Good night. God bless. See you tomorrow.